If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Winston Churchill, how many of you have ever heard that statement? Or maybe you've heard, if you fail to plan, you plan to lose. Or if you fail to plan, you fail to win. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Black Business Experience. I'm Robert Felder here at BVN. Today, we're talking about planning. What was my motivation for coming up with this particular topic for today? I have friends, I have acquaintances, family members who have visions, resources, and they don't have a plan for where they want to go. Now, I come from a Christian background as well, and sometimes some, I lack a plan to get what I need done on occasion. And I think we all fall into that category on occasion. But you can get over that step. Now, I know you've heard the statement, write the vision and make it plain. The vision is important. However, you must have a plan in order to execute on the vision. So what I've come up with are five simple keys for you to come up with a simple, executable plan. This way, if you're trying to increase sales, if you're trying to get things done in your business, you can have something quick, fast, that you can learn, pick up, so that you can go back and get things done. Key number one is learn one strategy to get it done. I heard a uh, motivational speaker speak once. His name was uh, Della Toro. He says we have too many information addicts. We have too many information junkies, but not enough application addicts. We go out and learn so much information, but we fail to implement. Oftentimes, we just need one plan to move our sales. We need one thing, one strategy to get organized in our office. But we're going out and learning too many different things. Rule number one, key number one, learn one strategy to get it done. Rule number two, write it down. You must write it down. This way you keep record of where it is. I keep it on my cell phone, I keep it on my iPad, I keep it on my computer, I email it to myself as well so I can always go back to where I have referenced how I execute something. And that's for anything. That's for plans I've had when I did real estate investment, when I've done stock investment, I always wrote down what worked so I have an archive. Kind of like a scientist that keeps records on what works and what doesn't. Thank God that they do. Rule number three, test it. Whatever you're going to do, test it to make sure that you get the same results as those who you learn from or book that you learn from. You want to make sure it works. If this is in a large organization, you may want to try it in something that's smaller, smaller scale, kind of like an incubator. That way you give it an opportunity to work or fail quietly so nobody knows what's going on. But give it an opportunity. Calibrate your exposure. Next one is tweak it. If you see that it's working, tweak where it needs to be adjusted so that it works for you. If you see that it needs adjusting to get better results, definitely, by all means, go forward. If you see that it needs something that's more aggressive, almost to another plan, you may have to scratch and start over again. But this is where you adjust the plan to make sure that it's working for you. And the last step that we have is repeat it. If it's working, do it again. If you're trying to increase real estate sales and you have a strategy that is working, do it again. If between that time you have, it's a little quiet and your strategy has worked before, do it again. Oftentimes, we are not in the strategy of repeating and we want results real fast. Results coming fast is good. Results coming wisely because you knew why they came is even better. You need to have a plan for how you got those results so that you can repeat those results. I love talking about planning and I want you to know it is okay to be successful. Don't mystify the success process. You can do well at whatever you do, but skills pay the bills. So learn how to do it, test it, tweak it, repeat it. I'd like to hear back from you on this, on planning. You can contact me here at rfelder at blackvideonews.com. Once again, this has been the Black Business Experience. I'm Robert Felder.